Okay, hello, it's Sarah, and we're back for the final two sides of the tissue box. We've completed the sun, the B skep. Now we need to do the cat and the bird. Let's start on the bird because this is basically we just have to shade. Um, let's start with the blue, and I'm using um, Payne's Gray. And we're going to just go around all of the areas to make the birdie and the leaves and the um, branches pop out. So we're going to go around. We're going to go on top of the uh, branch. And I'm side loading the brush with paint. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay. I have painting tutorials where I really go into depth, but for a mixed media piece, I'm just kind of doing it because I love it. And I think you guys should do whatever you love, um, your favorite technique for shading. But for me, I, I get water on my brush, blot it on a paper towel, corner load it with paint. So just on the corner of the bristles. Then I go to my paper palette, which is actually um, it's like a waxy surface, and I push the paint down into the bristles so that it goes from dark to water. And you get that. And then I can also use my mop brush, which is basically like a little bit of a stiffer bristle, and you can mop the water's edge to really soften it out and pull the color to get it to be a graduation of color. I know I was pretty far away, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do that all around the piece. So it's, I mean, I probably don't need to, to share this if, if you don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, because it's easy for me to say and do because I know how to do it. Um, and I can just go around this whole piece pretty fast doing this technique. So that that's kind of the thing about uh, mixed media is you, there are other options for you guys now though. That's what's actually kind of great about it is you can use your, um, your big brushes, your uh, Faber-Castell. There's a great way you could just, you could just take a lot of people use the brown. I just want to lighten that up a little bit. They like to use this one and just mark it and rub and you can just rub with your finger and get a shaded effect the same way that I'm doing it with the paint. But just because this is what I did forever and um, I know how to do it, I'm, I like to use it again and bring it to the mixed media style of painting and uh, or crafting and that's what I'm doing so I'm pretty happy and I love the result you get from from uh, this technique as well so um, I just hope you guys understand that uh, I could I could have shaded this with um, my big brushes but I just, I'm just not choosing to do that at all. So I just want to kind of, I probably won't even share, I won't even show you me doing this the whole time, but I just want to let you know where I do it at least. And I mean, it's really kind of easy to figure out. You just want to go on top and, um, on, and below each thing to kind of make it pop off the background. And um, on the items, like when I do the leaves, I'll do them to one side or the other, probably not, not on both sides because uh, there, you want it to be a top and a bottom. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And we did that on the sun. We, we're doing the same thing on all the sides of this box. Then we add the details, and at the very, very end, I'm going to add 
little bit of stickles and different other mediums to get a little bit of uh, other dimensional details in there that you can add with um, glossy accents or stuff like that. I'm just going to put a little in between these feathers. And actually this piece worked up really quickly. Once you get your papers stuck on, it, it comes it comes along really fast because you don't your paper is your background color like it's your color like usually I'd be painting all that you know or I don't know adding color in some way but with the paper the colored papers you get all that color right away so now I'm gonna switch to it's called candy bar brown uh, where the heck is it right here and it's kinda just like a little bit of a reddish brown um, just because I'm using pink, I can, I just chose to use it and I like the way it's looking. Um, we used it on the sun. This is all the candy bar. And then I uh, added gold, metallic gold, to give it a sheen. So I'm just going to take, same thing, corner load my brush, blend it into the bristles, and then I'm just going to go around the wing. Oops, I went on the wing. And all the way around and set it into that into the onto the birdie's body and we, we have a snowstorm coming this weekend it's only Wednesday now so not until uh, Friday and Saturday I think so I'm hoping to have some projects to do and as long as we have power, I don't mind a snowstorm. Uh, just as long as the power stays on. So I think I'm going to use the same color to do the branches. So this is the candy bar. and I'm going to go along the bottom of the branch. And I had quite a lot of paint on that. And I'm going along the whole bottom. Do the same thing on the upper branch. And then I'm going to switch colors and go to black green for the leaves. And that's going to be that side pretty much. I may add a little bit of highlighting colors like on top of the birdie's head and uh, stuff like that but for now um, what am I doing black green uh, just gonna do it on the leaves on the back back and bottom kinda right there and Today wasn't so bad. I walked Kirby today, um, just bundled up, but it's been t in the 20s, so that's that's pretty cold. I tend to stay in on the cold days like that. 40s and 50s, they're nothing. I don't care about that. 40s, you know, just wear gloves and you're good, but 20s, yeesh. I don't like 20s. So that's my leaves and that's about it and you see you can see that dimension the change in the depth perception I guess right I want to do something to the wing what do I want to do I think I'm going to shade along the shoulder now you know what I'm going to shade like between the feathers like this kind of like uh, here here and here Let's see if I can lighten that up a little bit um, and then maybe just a little bit up here 
kind of went off the edge. Eh, it didn't show up that great. The matte medium really makes it kind of slide off. But all right, I think we're good on that side until I come back with some details. And the same thing for the cat. I'm going to start with the blue again because we have to go all around this on the blue with the dark edge of the paint up against the item and it blends out. So I'm going to go in with my bigger brush this time. I just like using an angle brush. And you know what? Let's just start right here. If I if I get it on the cat a little bit, that's okay because he's going to get shaded. Payne's Gray this is. And I, I didn't really think about this ahead of time that it would be um, so much floating it for the tutorial because sometimes I mean it can t really turn you off if you can't do a technique but I know that there are other ways you can do it so don't get discouraged like you can still do the project and shade it differently um, but I I think I'm gonna just finish this up off camera and come back and show you the details. We'll put the cat's face on and the birdie's face and all that stuff, all right? So I'll be right back. Okay, I finished shading. I went around, I detailed everything with the black Posca, Uni Posca paint pens, and this is the PC1M. Um, I think it's 0 .0, 0 0.07. I consider them the fine tips. Um, I did all the shading on the cat area and now I'm just finishing up um, with the black pen uh, except for his face because I'm going to put his face on in a minute. And you know when I painted we used to do all this with a, with a brush and this just makes it so easy. You can just do it with a uh, marker. So I'm just going to go around his little head and so I shaded, let me see if I have a little, I'll just show you what this, like in the blue or all around the cat, like I don't even think I did right here, right next to his head, I think I missed where I could just darken it up a little bit, but basically, yeah right here, see? I don't have enough water on my brush, that's why the paint's not moving. But I did in here, and I mean, you can always darken it up, but it's pretty much, I got him looking like he's on the piece now. He's not just um, on the piece. <laughs> I shaded on the cat next to his tail and kind of along the bottom of the swirl in this V here and next to each both of his legs under his neck and kind of in his ears so the, the bird you saw me do most of this I think you saw me do all the bird and then I just outlined everything and the bird gets a little face like I, I like giving him a closed eye it's just easier so just give him a little eye and I'm gonna put little feet here little legs he's just standing there I'm gonna give him a little pink cheek I guess I'm just gonna use the same I use this um, pink big brush for my son's cheek so I'll just give him a little cheek right there and it doesn't show up that bright brightly so maybe I'll use paint um, alright so for the cat he gets a little face and I, on the other video, I suggested that those of you who don't want to just go right to the piece and draw, sketch your face out with a pencil, do it first on a piece of paper and then trace it on, or tracing paper I mean, 
and then trace it on to the cat and then you can have your um, design on there so you don't have to just go right on to the piece um, like I do but I'm just going to do it the same way that we did the uh, the Sun and just basically I like to start with the eyebrows kind of get it and then you know that his nose is going to be like about right here he has one of those little snout smiles and that's basically it and you bring it bring that down and give him a couple of eyes These, this is like maybe one of the smallest cat faces I've ever done so I might be switching to my uh, he's looking a little lopsided there but you see that can you see that little face there he is all right, so I'm going to do a little pink nose. I am going to grab my um, my pink, this is just my pink Posca paint pen, and just give them a little pink nose. Let's make sure it's uh, got paint coming out of it. There we go. Give them a little pink triangle nose. And I'm going to paint the eyes white. I'm definitely going to move them. I'm not going to put them where they are because I think I uh, they're lopsided. But you should base coat that so that we can get a nice bright I'm going to make them a little longer. And this one actually Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can just move that eyebrow up a little bit. This isn't the best eraser. It's kind of smudging. This one's better. And once I shade it, it's going to, um, it'll remove all that stuff. So let's see. I'm going to put it right here. Good enough. <sighs> Get a little wider. And then you can just fit more eyeball in there. More eye color. He'll have big green eyes. And while that's drying, I'll show you how I'll um, highlight some of this. I'm taking that pink off and put on the pink paint. This is ink, the India ink, and it's fine, but it just doesn't dry as fast. And before I even put that on, we're going to go into some gold metallic paint. And I'm going to highlight my little birdie with some of that. I guess I could use pink. I have, you know what, let me use the pink. I have pink out here, I forgot. Pink metallic. Um, and I just use the Americana brand, I think. Where is it? No, this is in Americana. This is the Craft Smart. Very cheap. Cheapest one I could get. Put some on top of his head. And it'll just give him a little shimmer when you turn him a certain way. And I'll do the top of his feathers. And I do this pretty thick. And it isn't an obvious Thing, but it's going to be just when you turn the piece a certain way. I'm going to do the top of his wing and these little sections. And it's whimsical, so it's not like it has to be perfect. It could be on his belly. And that's about it. We could put some green on the tips of the leaves. So I have a green metallic by Craft Smart and my palette, my paint cut kind of dry on my palette. And I'm going to stick to the top. Oops, I'm too zoomed in. Hold on. Stick to the top and the tip. The tip and the top. 
And like I said, you don't see it right away, but you'll see it when it's kind of tilted in the right direction. And it's just fun. I know it's there, and I love shimmer and shine, so. There, I can see it. I definitely can see it. I love it. All right, let's give him his cheek. I could put a little, I'm going to put a little bit on the beak. Oh, not green. I'll use the gold. I had that gold. Put a little gold on his beak. There we go. And give him a little cheek. Oh, how cute is that? I use the same doggone stuff. I meant to use paint. But why is that showing up better now? That is so cute. OMG. All right. So I did those highlights. And then are my cat's eyes. I'll do my cat's eyes one more time. But we can highlight the moon definitely up here. Because I already shaded behind it. But I'm going to do the highlight on the front with the gold. See, this is just so fun for me. I know it's probably boring as heck, but I shaded around the tail, so I'm going to start like right here. And boom, just put some gold right there. And just maybe a little right in here. It's all you really need because it's... I think I'm going to shine him up a little, but I won't use gold. All right, let me just see if I can put a little bit more white on his eyes. This brush is falling apart. I said in my last video I'm going to treat myself to some new brushes. Um, next paycheck. They make all the difference. And when you don't have good brushes, you can tell. When you get the good ones, oh man, it's so awesome. Alright, that wasn't even that good, but I'm going to put a little more pink on his nose. And what else? You know what? I think I want to put a little pink in his ears. And what should we perk him up with? A little bit of that pink metallic. I'll do it with the tip of his tail right here um, his little feet I gave my other one my big one I put nail polish on her on the key cat maybe a little on the legs what the heck right just add a little shimmer and that's it for that kind of really simple that side was. I put little legs on him, but you can't really see them, so maybe I should use pink and white. So let me grab the pink and give him some pink legs. There, now you can see it. And I have a black line next to it, so maybe I'll just, that's much better. I'll use the black and I'll just outline it and make like he's holding on to this branch. Right? Like that. And guess what guys? We're pretty much done. All we gotta do is the cat's face. So let's go ahead and get that on there. I'm just gonna tip this toward myself so I can get a better angle. He's a little off, but um, I think it's okay. Um, Get 
I'm just going to use a um, little bit of the, what is it called, Candy Bar Brown. And I'm going to shade like from his eyebrow down his nose, down his, not like his, um, yeah, his nose. So I just start above his eye and come around down his snout. That's what I was trying to think of. And I'm going to mop it. I kind of got that white really not white anymore. This is so small that, I mean, all this detail doesn't really, like when we did the mo the sun, you really notice and see it. But this is kind of so small. I mean, it's still noticeable, but I do not like that I can't really see what I'm doing because it's I'm not on top of the piece. That side came out good. But the other side I gotta fix. Candy bar brown. And I'm just gonna start here. And connect. It's very dark. And let's do a snout. color did I say green for the eyes it'll look good once we get all the details on but look how easy it is to put that on there with I just had to plug in my camera but yeah these pens just make it so easy and but for this face, that Posca paint pen is going to be so thick. I mean, you can kind of see everything, but I want to outline it. And I'm not sure that that is so thick, so I think I have to use a pen. Um, I kind of want to use a pen, but uh, I gotta let things dry a little bit. We're gonna just take that liner brush and go right across the eye to make a lid with the um, candy bar brown. But I don't know if that green is completely dry yet. This brush might be a little too thin. I'm going to try it. So I'm putting it in the corner. Push down. My paint was way too wet. So, pick it up. Now I made the green run. Gotta let each layer dry before you keep trying to add to it. I'm gonna try and put the face on with this um, uni uniball, uniball vision pen. 
might have to tip it a little bit toward myself. can't forget her um, whiskers and I should be waiting till that's dry but you get the idea I'm not even in the shot all right you guys I'm gonna call it done uh, the last thing you would do is definitely coat this with um, see how this still isn't dry good enough um, coat it with matte medium like we did these and then I'm gonna add a little bit of stickles and stuff like that so I'll come back when it's totally completely done I'll right, be right back okay I'm gonna add the final coat of Mod Podge to my oh, Mod Podge matte medium to my cat this will just seal those final details into place I added a collar and I'm going to put a little bling heart um, dangling from the collar when that dries. And that's it. We are done. Um, I'm going to add some glossy accents to this guy's eyes, but I got to wait for the cat to dry. Let me see what else I add. So I just, I didn't have a pink um, heart, so I just took a Sharpie and you can just color up, add color to it because it's an alcohol ink and make it pink. They're white. So I'm going to add that and I like it. So let me just show you one side at a time. Um, I'm going to add stickles, I think, to the centers of the flowers. Uh, maybe a little to their wings because I put uh, opalescent, like the white opalescent paint on their wings. But I still might add stickles. Um, I'm going to add, I think, glossy accents to the eyes and lips. Give them a little shine. Maybe a, a line of um, yellow stickles on the bird. I don't know. Maybe I don't really need anything on the bird. I just think he's as cute as can be without anything. Something I think um, glossy accents on his beak and on the cat. Like I said, I'm just going to add that little collar probably some glossy accents in his eyes. See, I got his face to settle down and come together, but when you're working on such a small area and you're on camera, it's a little bit harder because I like to be right on top of it. And that's it. So I hope you like it. I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, I don't know what happened. I kind of petered out toward the end. And, uh, but I love it. And you know what the other thing is? I did not add the black paint to the edges because I'm kind of liking these colors without it. But that doesn't mean I won't add it. And it might just make the whole thing pop then. So we'll have to see. I, I'll post it on Facebook if I uh, end up adding the black. So, all right, you guys. That's it. Thanks for watching.